a TIA or a transient ischemic attack is essentially a mini stroke. So what normally happens is a small blood clot forms in a blood vessel, goes up into the brain and then blocks one of the blood vessels that takes blood and oxygen to a particular part of the brain. And the patient then notices a loss of that particular function. So it's a bit of the brain that controls your speech. You might lose speech for a few minutes or if it controls the, one of your arms, you might lose strength in your arm or sensation in your arm for a few minutes. If it's a, a, a major stroke, then uh, that's often a permanent uh, deficit. The, uh, the blood clot stays, the artery stays blocked, the bit of the brain dies. If the blood clot breaks up and the blood flow is restored, then the symptoms get better and that's a TIA. So in many ways it's, it's equally important and certainly it's, uh, it's as important to act on a TIA as it is a stroke. It's important for a number of reasons, but the main, the main importance is that it's an indicator of a very high risk of a major stroke. Essentially it's a warning stroke. And what we found over the years is the risk of a major stroke where, where you don't get better is increased substantially for the, the few days and weeks after a, after a warning event. Um, in the first few hours, the risk of a major stroke is about a thousand times higher than it would be normally. So there's a very short but critical high risk period. If you think you've had a TIA, even if the symptoms have got better, even if they were relatively mild, so dizziness just for a few minutes, for example, if it's something that's untoward, you, you don't recognise, you haven't had before, then it, it's essential to seek medical attention straight away. Ideally, go to the A&E department if you can or telephone 999. The fact that it's got better is, uh, is no reassurance. You should treat it as if it was a major stroke and it hadn't got better.